Hi guys, I just want to share with you a few more of my vintage items. In front of you we have this beautiful little suede book which I will just share with you in a second. First of all you can see straight away that I've just got these two old books of copies of Pride and Prejudice, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion by Jane Austen. These are two of the oldest books that I possess in my collection and I just love the fact of the book covers. This one obviously is to me the most decorative one that I have in the collection. You can just see how worn that these are. This one happens to have spots, you can see the price that I paid and it also had a, some sort of jacket over it which I have now taken off for the moment. But this is a nice copy of Pride and Prejudice. The only unfortunateness is I believe it possibly had Jane Austen's portrait and the page has been removed from this particular one. So unfortunately I can't necessarily age this book or the Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. But yet again, I just thought they would be sort of shocking to leave behind. I paid just under £2 for the Pride and Prejudice and a pound for this particular copy. And I also like the fact that we've got this book plate here because this was awarded to Hilary Lloyd. And so from that perspective, these are just wonderful little pieces of history that I would like to keep in my collection, especially being a bit of a Jane Austen fan. Let's just move, you can see the sellotape that was used and how it has worn into those books and left their marks. Let's share with you this little suede album. This dates back to 1916 and what it is, it's a little album of signatures. As you can see, it's got that wear and tear of an item that has obviously been around for over a hundred years. And I don't believe that any of the signatures that are inside this collection happen to be of anybody famous. I think that they have just gone around family members, but they started in 1916 collecting signatures and this one ends around about the 1920s. We've got Gertrude Peace here, the 2nd of the 2nd, 1920. And so I just love the fact of all the wealth I mean, and the lovely names as well. We've got Beatrice, Evelyn, and you've just got names that you don't necessarily have in modern day. So that is just another little piece of ephemera in my collection. I'm not going to spend too long on this photograph album because I do use the photographs and you have seen them somewhere on my tea bag art, on my trifold. I've been using some of the photographs from this album and this album I purchased and all the information I got from it was it just says portraits, figure subjects. I'm going to turn to the back because I have taken a few of the photographs out now and used them within and I'm just going to share with you these lovely black and white images We've got a variety, such a variety of wealth. Some of the photographs have got information on the back, but they tell me nothing about the images or where they come from. And they've obviously gone round to art galleries because some of these pictures, you can see the picture frames that they were actually in. And the photographer at times has had a good day or at other times the photography hasn't quite worked out as I think they would have hoped. But they've had like a record of their journey as they've gone round. So this is where I am using, because they're such small images, I may actually take a copy and then cut and use a small image from the black and white picture. And you've just got scenes in history. I like it because we've got fashion that I can look back at and just see. And as you can see here, 
this particular photograph it hasn't come out well it's overexposed but it's just lovely to have something a digital camera even though you can make it look very similar we know that they were challenged at the time whilst they were doing the particular type of photography and this is just some of the things that I have throughout my collection and where I get my personal inspiration from I'm able to look back at things like so and sort of just see and try and work them into my artwork in some shape or form. So before we get too far afield I am just going to stop here and just share with you these little portraits and that is just some of the ephemera that I have in my collection that I try and incorporate into my journals. Thank you guys, I will catch up with you soon. Bye bye.